Hey, what's up everyone out there? Thanks so much for tuning in to another Addicted Fishing tutorial. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna talk about the importance of bleeding your fish. So we got a nice little stalker trout in the sitting in the net here. Just a little guy, but that's all right. He's gonna make good, he's gonna make a good little chicken nugget for me. But we're gonna show you how to bleed these things properly, what to do, how to take care of them to make sure that your fish that you catch is gonna taste good for you on the grill. So that's coming up for you next. Ooh, the puller. All right, everyone, before we get going here, get this video up to 3,000 likes, and I'm gonna randomly select someone from the comments to win an addicted fishing prize pack. We're gonna give you an addicted hat, an addicted decal, and an addicted t-shirt. 3,000 likes, hit the thumbs up button, drop a comment below. We're gonna randomly select from the comments, pick one of you guys out there or girls out there to win a little prize from us. And again, we appreciate you guys tuning in. We hope you guys are learning a bunch. We hope we're helping you guys get out on the water and catch a bunch of fish. So let's get in here and talk about these fish. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go in here. I'm gonna lift this gill plate up. You can see his gills exposed. I'm gonna cut those three like so. I'm gonna go to the other side. I'm gonna cut those three like so. I'm gonna drop them back in the net. And as you can see, if you look in there, see how that blood is just pumping out of that fish? Clean your scissors off there. Get back into this fish, grab them again, and just start kinda wiggling them back and forth making sure all that blood is getting out of there. It's really important that you keep them in the water because what's gonna happen if you don't is if you cut the gills and it starts to bleed, the blood will just start to coagulate and it'll just block itself from bleeding out. If you keep it in the water, it never gets a chance to do that. It just keeps kind of pumping out of the fish. So I'm gonna let him sit in there in that net for a little bit and just keep pumping the blood out of there. Okay, so while that guy's sitting in the net bleeding, let's talk about the importance of this. So have you ever like sat down, kind of taken a bite of fish and you've got like a really like fishy taste to it? That typically has a lot to do with the blood. So on a lot of fish, what you wanna do is just make sure you get it bled extremely good and then get it right away and put it on ice. That's really, really important, firms up the meat, keeps it nice. If you have a cold lake or somewhere cold that you're fishing, you could just throw them right back in the water kind of on a stringer and they'll sit in the cold water and it works similar as it, as it would at ice. But you wanna make sure that the water temperature is really cold if you're gonna do that. So again, like I said, it's really, really important. Bleed your fish, trust me, any fish. I don't care if it's a crappie, a walleye, a sturgeon, a salmon, a trout. I don't care what it is, by bleeding it, once you clean that thing, it's gonna be way better for the table. Trust me on that. Okay, so like I said, I'm in a pretty cold lake. I didn't bring any ice with me, so I'm just kind of leaving these fish in the lake. And I think it, I think they're gonna be all right because this lake temperature is pretty, pretty cold. So I just have my, my straight up metal stringer here. I'm just gonna put that through the gill plate like so. And then close her. And she's dialed. As you can see, got a few guys there. One nice fatty. Let those things hang. And then I have my little just oar lock thing that I put this metal stringer up through and clip it in. And then those fish are hanging nicely in the water. Clean your net off. Stick it back up front. You're ready to roll. Ready to catch another one, folks. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how to quickly just fillet these trout. I got my nice Gerber fillet knife here. This is a fillet away fish mat, super nice. You just put a little pressure on it and it, your fish doesn't slide around too much. But basically what I like to do is I go right up the belly here. And then I just do it a super quick and easy way. And then I'll just come in right here like this, cut down and across. And then just start working your way down the backbone. Like so, and that's your first side. All right, so we got this nice tasty filet here. And this method that I'm doing, this is the gutless method, so you don't have to take the guts out. Um, but if you want, you know, you if they're in your way, you could just come in here with your hand and just basically make one cut here, one cut there, and get the guts out of there so they're out of your way. But it's your call, really. Okay, the other side's the same thing. Come down here. 
And I'm no pro at this, but it gets the job done. Bring your knife in here at a 45 and just kind of put, push against the bone slightly as you're pulling down, pulling away. Like so. There you go. Now you got two nice trout fillets. Discard that. And then what you're gonna do here, you're gonna come in like this and get these bones out. I just like to go like this here. Just, just like this. That's what I like to do. Again, you can do it however you want, but that leaves you one nice, good little fillet. Looks like I got might got a little bit of a dorsal fin right here, so I'll cut that off. Same thing on the other side, just come in behind these bones right here and just work your way down. And again, I don't really like this fat belly meat down here. Some guys like it, some guys don't. So I will typically just do that and then slice straight through and cut it off. There you go. Two nice little trout fillets. There you go, I hope you guys learned something here. Thanks again for tuning in. We appreciate every single one of you. We'll see you on the river.